Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another stream by me. Tonight I'll be playing in the Kanda Bay Club Avond. Another stream. It's a rapid uh, mm. arena tonight. Me. tonight five I'll be playing in the Kanda Bay Club Avond. Per move. Another stream. It's a rapid uh, and my arena first me. tonight five I'll be playing in the Kanda Bay Club Avond. Per move. Another stream. It's a rapid uh, and my first me tonight five million in the cafe second album per move another Never stream a rapid uh, and my first me tonight five million in the cafe second album per move another Never stream a rapid uh, and my first me tonight five million in the cafe second album per move another Never stream a rapid and my first me tonight five million in the cafe second album per move another Never stream a rapid uh, and my first and me tonight five million in the cafe second album per move another never stream a rapid and my first and me tonight five million in the cafe second album per move another never stream a rapid and my first and me tonight five million in the cafe second album per move another never stream a rapid and my first and me tonight five million in the cafe second album per move another never stream a rapid and my first and me tonight five million in the cafe Remind us here and there. Second album per move. Another is right. It, it, it should, should also appear on the Light Drafts website itself. A banner which says, "I'm playing and streaming." And my first and my tonight five million in the cafe. Obviously. Remind us here and there. Second album per move. Another is right. It should also appear on the Light Drafts website itself. Now this playing. A banner which says tempo this I'm time playing. control should be and rather streaming. good and for streaming from all the streams we 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 the 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 before. Remind us uh, here. Uh, second second album per move. Another is right. A rapid. The most should, should also appear on the Light Drafts website itself. Now displaying a banner which says tempo this interesting symmetrical I'm time playing. control should Position be rather good. And like the one. From all the streams we have been playing before, and I'm also here. Uh, Always right. It should also appear on the Light Drafts website itself. Now displaying a banner which says "Tempo is interesting, symmetrical, time control should be rather good." Like a one from all the streams we have been playing before. And I'm also here. Second album per move. Another is right. Rapid. Should also appear on the Light Drafts website itself. Now this playing on this banner which says them four attackers. Interesting symmetrical. Time control should be right. Like a one. He is only all the streams. Second album per move. Another is right. Rapid. Should also appear on the. Light draft in the website itself. Now displaying like all this playing banner which says them both four attackers. Interesting symmetrical so on to wait a bit. Time control should this be right. Like a so one tea is on from all the streams. Four. And I'm also here. Second album per move. Another is right. Should also appear on the light draft in the website. So now displaying all this banner which says them both four attackers. Interesting symmetrical so on to wait a bit. Time control should this be right. Good. Like a one tea is on from all the streams. Four. And I'm also here. Second album per move. Another is right. Should also appear on the light rush in the website. So now this playing on this banner which has them for four attackers. Interesting symmetrical is on to wait a bit. Time control should this be right. Good. Like a one tea is on from all the streams. Four. And I'm also here. I said, I'm a good so appear on the light rush in the website. So, now this playing on this banner is for the four attackers. Interesting symmetrical is on to wait a bit. Time control should be right. Like a one tea is on from all the streamers. I'm also here. I said, I'm a good so appear on the light rush in the website. Now this playing on this banner is for the four attackers. Interesting symmetrical is under to wait a bit. Time control should be right. Like a one tea is on from all the streams. Four. And I'm also here. I'm also here. I'm also here. I had the Twitch stream open in my <laughs> computer as well. Now I turned it off. Sorry for everyone who might have heard 
in this noise. I had my own uh, stream open on the this computer, so there appeared some uh, resonance. I'll never do that again. Mm. Again, I can attack to try to break his position a bit might be the best move but I can also just change forward and then some more pieces remain on the board of course white can exchange my four post on 27 but then I will launch an attack on this wing oh this is a pre-move I shouldn't <laughs> I was trying to indicate something in the Accidentally, I made a pre-move. That's not very smart. Well, we'll make it in positional sacrifice. Let's see where we go. All part of the plan. Now there's the weak piece on 36, of which I should try to make use. Try to develop my pieces a bit. It might be too easy to move to 28 already. Oh, to allow this exchange. Well, given the positional um, kind of advantage I have because of white white's edge pieces and uh, should be able to make at least a draw but of course that was very stupid to just give away one piece and it means i'm also just getting used to this website still and uh, well now I have to choose actually whether to move to the center myself or to try and play some classics. Both should be losing I guess but perhaps classics is the best way here. Although it allows 27-22. Well, I have to. No combination, although I could change back in order to later approach on this wing. 
No, but the plan was to make some classics. Perhaps this is possible. Because then I cannot, after this move, I cannot attack because white can stick on 20. He doesn't play that, so that's good. But still, it seems that white has enough temps and classic just to play. Well, this might not be the best move, but don't know if I can really do anything. Perhaps I thought to keep square on 33 open. Okay, I see some chances for a draw. Cannot attack now because of 1621. But still does. And now actually I get a better position. And perhaps some chances to still win this game. Which would be very fortunate. I actually have a good position now. Let allow this exchange. Shouldn't allow it. Still, I don't have any base pieces, but because of which these positions might not be. Winning because white also always has some kind of a breakthrough, but at least it's better for me now. Now I have the chance to move to 34, or I can just close and play classics, which also looks very good. To this, I think still the sacrifice is buggering me, so. But after this, I might have to sacrifice myself at some point. But anyway, it's, it looks good to be on 34. <coughs> because it uh, immobilizes so many of white pieces. I should go here, but after the exchange, I don't see a very good variance for me, actually. Um, I can also wait. And if he changes back, take control of square 21. Or if, I mean, if he doesn't. Um, like that. He doesn't let me. Which makes sense. I have some time again, but 
not a winning position. One, this, this. Okay, it goes to the side. Still have to try this. This could also turn out worse for me, actually. Now I guess I have to settle for a draw. Which, all in all, after this kind of um, blunder or accident, however you call it, in the opening is of course not uh, something to complain about. Yeah, let's offer it. Not exempted yet. Well, we'll get there. Perhaps he doesn't know how to offer a draw. And I cannot anymore because I already offered it. But if we have in the same position for the third time, it's an automatic draw right now. And now it actually shows in the uh, lead drafts website also that I'm streaming. So perhaps I should get some viewers from there for those who are already viewing hi Angelus du soir French bread uh, hello if you're in watching let me know in the chat I'm very curious to see who's watching and what you think okay select for you new game good luck Quite a low rating, I don't know what it means. I'll just try to focus. Because tonight actually I want to get a good result. Perhaps it doesn't look, uh, look like that after seeing the first game, but I played yesterday a little bit in the Blitz online tournament of the KNDB, KNDB and it didn't go very well so I'd very well like to get a little revenge but we'll see I already had some technical problems and uh, it's my first time streaming on Twitch so perhaps I shouldn't set my goals too high And stick to uh, simple goals as playing a nice game, enjoying the viewers, which is yeah, also important. Okay, I think normal build-up phase, 2025, perhaps a bit early. But what to do? Change and develop like that. Perhaps that's the most harmonical way of developing here. Yeah, I'd like to develop piece 47 to 28, that's why. 
And this way I nicely develop my fork here as well. The idea is now to just play with uh, center. Black has gone to 25, I will not go to 26 if I don't uh, have to. Now here is some action. But I don't believe there is one. He cannot win back my piece because of 2 for 2 backwards. But perhaps with this move he can. <laughs> Actually, interesting. Does he win back to B? Guess he does. Anyway, I will just leave him be on uh, square foot. He can develop one more piece. If I attack twice with this one, he can go to 34. It's not what I like. So the question is to go once more or not. It removes one of his uh, central pieces, so perhaps it's a good idea. That will not miss my piece on uh, 45 anytime soon. Yeah, he's defending his piece. And now I will just go for center build. Trying to make some formations. Mainly the central pyramid. And then take it from there. Choose to go either left or right. Hard to say what is more logical at the moment because most of his pieces are here. Should perhaps move to the right. But for that, I might have to exchange this piece. But first we'll await some of his moves. Okay, I don't want to give up this formation just yet, so... We'll perhaps fill the gap from with piece 47, although it also like to keep that one. Mm. Idea could be just to take once more and then try to push on that flank. Well, let's just wait a bit longer. I see uh, AR change 007 watching. Hello. I guess I recognize you from lead drafts as well play a lot of games here it's now perhaps to attack to change forward and to move all my pieces to the right is a nice idea not very uh, special or not really a sign of great imagination, but might be a strong plan. 
what's the alter alternative to move to the left to keep the speeds on 30 and 25 Sound you might hear is my radio alarm clock. Very good timing. It means it's about nine o'clock time on which I usually wake up in the morning. But it's an uh, analog one, so every twelve hours it goes off. What to do? To turn it off in the morning? Yes. I don't want to to play without the uh, imagination so let's move to the left still and leave this piece be yeah Because anyway, you will need to make some. We'll have to weaken his position here as well. Because at some point on this wing, he just gets stuck. Right, now I have to think about 28, 23. One moment, I will fix the radio. Problem solved, lost some time of course, but I got my focus back. Now again, 28, 23, he could just take like that, but he cannot keep that forever. 6, 11 is the only move, but... And I'll also just wait one move, I guess, and like we'll need to make a big choice. Also taking some time for black, so already got the lead in time. So what do I expect? Maybe yeah, at some point 30, 35. After 18, 23, I will always close 40, 34, and black is very far away from control over 24 and 39. This is a blunder, I assume. So now I can win a piece simply like this. So it takes like this, and that will be one piece ahead.
And it's just quite a sudden end of the game, which uh, hadn't really started. So what to do? Just waiting now. Maybe he just lets his clock run. Still going one way. But now I can even take four pieces. So I can go to king. So this game is absolutely over. Try to win this as quick this one as quickly as I can because the more games you play, the more points you get in the end. Okay, another one for two, and now all his pieces are behind the line. Yeah. And so, okay, I will be back in a bit. Get some refreshment. Hopefully, I. Put it on pause, indeed. Join again. Immediately a new game against uh, Rajan Gobardan. Okay, good luck. If I'm not mistaken, this was actually my host during the last uh, Rotterdam Open Tournament, so it's nice to meet him also here over the board. We'll see. Perhaps I should say a few words on, on why I'm streaming here on Twitch while I was streaming on YouTube before. Um, main reason is that Twitch is more dedicated to games than, than YouTube is. I think the variety of uh, videos on YouTube is bigger than on Twitch. Twitch is really known for uh, uh, gamers and mostly video gamers playing their games and streaming them. And that's also a lot of chess players uh, stream on Twitch, actually. Uh, second thing that is more used for, uh, more apt for streaming in a way, more equipped than YouTube, on which you, it's also just mainly used to um, to publish uh, videos on which you had already which already have been uh, recorded and edited and all, all stuff like that while well, Twitch is really made for um, streamers for streaming only live streaming actually 
I think there is a possibility to, to upload videos as well, but most people come here for, for streaming. Sec a third reason is that on Light Drafts, um, developers had have made uh, streamer pages and by streaming on Twitch and putting lightdrafts.org in the title um, automatically a banner appears on the Light Drafts uh, website on which people can see I'm streaming and can, can automatically uh, watch my stream so that's cool and uh, there will be a similar tool for uh, YouTube but it hasn't been finished yet doesn't work yet I think developers are waiting for a reply from Google at this point perhaps this wasn't the best move no, I should take care of this Two for two. 40, 44. I have to check combinations. Yes, indeed, I cannot play it. And 39, 34. Is this the same problem? Then I can take like that. But it's a bit risky. If there is no combination, I should play it. I think there is not. So let's try. Because after this, I can always take like that. But there is a way like that. 25, 30, 15, 20, 13, 19, and then 22, 28. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 8 times 46 for 4 pieces. And... Probably losing position, so... Better just to allow this two for two or change back. Maybe change back is the best. Or not. I can also just allow this two for two. Indeed, without thinking. And now just build my position. Still has some weak pieces here, at least 15 will be weak. Like, prepare is another exchange. Perhaps mm, this wasn't the best way to build this, but this was my plan anyway. Go to the center. And again, the same question as last game actually. Do I go right or do I go left? <coughs> anyway, I'll try to control this wing. Mm, he goes to the edge himself. And that's alright. Okay, I'll not ex let this space be exchanged. At least not yet. Now I have to think again. Well, let's just try to push there. Problem is maybe here I'll be a bit frozen. 
even though I can still change back then backwards yeah so let's go fifteen twenty is an interesting one perhaps not uh, not a bad idea but you will lose control over this field for the rest of the game preparing two for two perhaps or maybe I should just let him as long as I move my pieces in a good direction I still have this weak piece on 36 I don't like it so much maybe I can just go to the edge does it make sense because I also like to keep the piece on 48 all right I'll just make a waiting move I didn't like to go there because it perhaps uh, also disturbs me in my movement perhaps here I have some good uh, development Yeah, not so easy to say how much advantage I have actually. But I can still change a lot of pieces. I don't want to exchange this piece, so I better keep on waiting. Ways to go here, but then he might exchange there, and then my position is a bit broken. Two parts. better just build it nicely as long as there is no combination after this move 2-7 that's a interesting one allows this move and then that one and that should be good for me right 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 Yes. Yeah, this should freeze out black. Cannot attack. So there's only three pieces to play with. Instead of two seven it was better just to keep yeah, this was also dangerous because 42, 47 perhaps, and you cannot, or well you can actually play 1923. It had to be at some point anyway. So if black goes here, I'll play 26, 21. And there's nowhere to go for black if I'm correct. Yeah, I must play 25-30 and this piece will just freely go to king. Again, if you're watching, say hi. Let me know what you think. Whether I'm playing well, whether it should be better, I guess it should be better. Mm -mm. Easiest way is perhaps just to go to king. Can go in between, but...
I don't want to allow him to go to king as well. But it will not happen. Should keep my eye on some on some on shots. Don't see them, also this move perhaps. And I have little time, I better hurry up. Looks like he can make a king, but and now there should be some nice hit. But I don't want to end up in the catching construction actually. Um I'll better play it safe. Just to get my points. Perhaps there was some some nice shot. Must have been, but right now I just want two points. Mm -mm. Yes. Never easy without time, but this looks all right. Now there is still a little shot. With minimum risk. Yeah, still time. Management is an issue. Mm, doesn't really matter what I play. Just, yeah. This piece isn't going to king, so time to surrender. I hope. Otherwise I have to find uh, something else to do during these four minutes. Well, looks like it, or perhaps my opponent doesn't know how to give up, like many new players to the website. It's here, the flag, resign. You have to press it twice, so you don't accidentally resign, like I also shouldn't. But I guess especially to people who are not very uh, much used to you, digital applications this kind of uh, icons are not as intuitive as to uh, people who um, yeah, use a lot of uh, computers, phones, applications so I guess for younger people it will also be more intuitive, but not for my opponent, it seems. That's a pity. would like to go to the next game, of course. Yeah, what else can I say? On Light Rafts there have been some pretty uh, uh, interesting battles when it comes to the uh, leaderboard. There is a leaderboard on the, on the website in each category, in each discipline. So there is uh, Rapid, as you can see here. There is a Bullet, which is uh, rather quick games, about one or two minutes per game. And there is Blitz, with 
around three to five minutes per game. Um, also classical and ultra bullet, but those are, are rarely played so far. But on this bullet um, and blitz ratings mostly, there have been some very interesting battles for who is the first. Um, players involved in that are uh, uh, someone called Fred, there is uh, Eisendorn, there is of course M.I. Thunderstorm, um, who else? Let me guess. So there are some very strong players who found their way to this website and they are all hunting for this uh, position on the leaderboard because then you'll be uh, um, displayed on the homepage of the website. And if Rajan, by the way, if Rajan is watching, should be careful with letting your clock just uh, run instead of giving up because I believe there is some uh, um, so, some algorithm also on his website that if you just leave your clock run instead of giving up uh, you will get a ban eventually because of course it's not a very way not very fair to the opponent and to the viewers, of course. Okay, 15 minutes, seconds to go. Or perhaps he's just uh, waiting, trying to find a draw. Goes here, I will go here. And that's one, one against three here. All right, time out, what is victorious? Back to the tournament. A warning. Yeah, here it was also written in the chat, warning to Gobardan for letting his time run. Let's hope I'll quickly get a new game. Citroen. Citroen. Good luck. Citroen means uh, it's a Dutch word for lemons. I hope it won't be a uh, too sour game. I well, don't know how you would describe a sour player, but anyway. Check it out opening, interesting. Uh, yeah, one of the most interesting openings there is for uh, sharp play with a lot of interesting variations in the last well 10 20 years has been very popular among grandmasters and this is one of the variants uh, Martijn van Eisendorn uh, I guess introduced against Guntis Walneris during the Polish Open that involves uh, sacrifice of a piece I hope I'm playing this correct correctly actually Idea is that if white attacks, black goes to 26, and white will have to give back his piece uh, at some point. Mm, I guess this is the correct move. And also, uh, 3126 doesn't change that. I believe after this and 27 3530 is possible. Because, well, not no, not here. First 5054 has to be played. Indeed, White tries to win the piece already. Mm, let's see. one looks good yeah, and the, the, f the idea is that white has well no 
three waiting move moves uh, left. Black also has them. Mm. Can also go here actually. Threaten a bit. So white can wait two more times. Even this one, but this might be too much. Here 50, 45. Guess I will have to wait as well. I think after this sacrifice, I can always play 15, 20. I think this looks very good for black because after 47 41 I can attack 1924 and there's no tempo for white. And also, he cannot close after this. I will just play there. After this, I have a in the variation 19 uh, sorry 47 41 1924 39 33. I can play a nice shot. 328 and okay white is aware cannot move here but will of course take back the piece and I have a great positional advantage because of this construction but hard to say whether it's very easy to to take advantage of that this looks like a logical start and now Lock and then press play eighteen twenty three. With the idea that this lock, I'm locking these five pieces with only three, even though these are also a bit of extra burden. And it should be a nice idea making use of uh, this root whenever piece 29 is removed I can just play 23, 28 So we'll see what white produces here. Position might be losing already. Because he can play one move, I play here, he can play second move, I play here for ten perhaps. And then he's already starting to run out of moves because after 34, 30 I can always play 23, 28. And this move, I thought it wouldn't be possible. I just let it take and 23, 28. And that's true. I shouldn't play 13, 28 and 23, 28 perhaps, because if I then take there, 
he gets too many tempos the, or anyway I have to I can already win a piece simply like that mm, 13 18 23 28 and go to 43 but I wonder what I wonder most is about 10 14 and 23 28 and to go to 41 it seems immediately winning yeah let's do that okay, one moment Opponent's still thinking, that's good, that's good. Yeah, 37, 31 makes most sense. Now we get the king. I can catch my king. 44, 39. I don't see any sh sh magnificent, sh magnificent shot. This is another idea, perhaps to prevent me from making a king. But anyway, I will attack this flank and make a king, albeit a few moves later. Yeah, I don't see any risk. Also, this cross is very strong. Quickest way is just to go. So this game is over one piece more and uh, coming breakthrough. I guess uh, many players, especially strong players, would already resign. Of course you can hope for uh, something, but it will not happen okay resigned back to the tournament Check something. And only downside, perhaps, of this kind of tournament is that you, yeah, you don't know against whom you'll play. You can, uh, in principle, meet uh, any opponent. So 
means you can also meet some weaker opponents, which uh, yes, not uh, which are not the most interesting opponents for uh, at least for playing a whole night. So at least I want to have some interesting games. Daman, okay, good name. Good luck. Wonder who this is. Has played not so many games, but has quite a good OK rating. And plays also theoretical opening. So that's interesting. What to do? Yeah, hard to say now whether I have a, what the level of my opponent is because he didn't play too many games yet. Also indicated by the question mark behind his uh, rating. It's also hard to think of a game plan. Let's just play interesting. If you don't know, play the sharpest move. Okay, usually thirty-one twenty-six here, but he doesn't. And that's quite interesting. Maybe he will wait one more. Nineteen twenty three also possible here. Maybe that's also yeah. I'll go for the to go twenty one twenty seven. Because usually after thirty one twenty seven you go twenty two twenty seven in this opening, but if you can uh, make it nineteen twenty three then also twenty one twenty seven is possible. So thinking a bit. And that's an interesting one indeed. If I play here, white plays here. With a change of position, so to say. Sharpest move would be to go to 28. course threatens with some combination but let's play interesting I have quite a lot of pieces on my left flank and I cannot really easily Tech there, so I should be cautious. Or well, we'll see. Probably I just have to wait, keep the position open as far as I can. Keep control of twenty one. As long as I can again. 46, 41, interesting one because now I have to take 31, 27 into account. After which I can always take 22. 21, 27, I don't know if I want to be there already. Perhaps. 
perhaps not. Mm. One seven fifty forty four. What about twenty two twenty seven? Is this an idea or not? And if if white takes like this to lock these pieces, bit of crazy idea. Not really meant for uh, quick games. Anyway, let's play some move. Thirty one twenty six can also always play fourteen twenty and take backwards. And then okay, in this one I have no choice. I think now we will both have some ugly pieces here and also piece thirty five. We'll see. Why is a bit better developed? Mm. Cannot play here, perhaps. Some king shot. Looks really solid for white. Thirteen eighteen is then I'm bothered by thirty seven thirty one. Perhaps I should play something actively. All right, as expected. Goes to the side and expect that. Okay. Should watch my time. One minute against forty-four minutes. Three and a half minutes difference actually. Mm, 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 mm. Well, okay, no time, so we'll play safely, easily. Still like white's position better, but at least I can uh, build my position without f much thinking. Hopefully, everything towards the center. White has a really nice position, but what can he really do? Is the question. Okay, we'll develop this one as soon as I can. Before White uh, builds any traps. Reminds me of one game by Alexander Georgiev in the World Championship last last year's World Championship, I guess, which put pressure on a position like this, in which Black also had a piece on twenty. Don't remember against whom? Perhaps an African player. Can take there, but I don't want to lose my. Control over 15. Better build this formation and exchange like that. Yes. Now also 1923 is possible, but mm, to lock 
white more or less of course 37 41 is possible then but it gives me a bit more control after 18 23 times 23 9 33 29 might be a bit annoying so let's play most interesting one don't see a combination. Let's hope there is not. Yes, indeed, 37, 31. Okay. And now I can even transition into uh, attack on the wing like that. Mm. Perhaps it makes sense, actually. I can very quickly build my formations and exchange to 32 or 31. Should be careful here. After 39, I will just close this gap here. Then go here, hopefully. Yeah, I'm starting to get some confidence in my position. So 34 is not allowed, so better move away this piece and then go. Combination. All right, now the question, how do I approach this wing? can also wait. It sounds like a good idea to put some slow pressure slowly. Actually this yeah. Hard to say what is the best plan. Um I have to move. Perhaps White is still pretty okay because his pieces are nicely in the center, but I'm waiting for him to damage his own position. Don't have time, that's a pity. 47, 42, okay. Might be such a way of damaging his position. Might go double towards the flank. There, I'll go double. Just to exchange, I can go in the middle. Okay. Plan to go there. Goes forward, yes. So exchange forward, and now, yeah, it's really the advantage in tempos that gives me advantage I hope might still exchange forward mm, what can I do nothing perhaps that's a bit sad just trying something now but I'm not sure whether that's actually good Attack goes away. And I cannot go in between because of sticky moves. Thirty three twenty eight, that's a really sharp move. I go here twenty five twenty, so better not to do that. Okay, he's playing rather quickly now. Do we have any good move? Maybe here. Of course, this move. 
but also after this one I saw. And it is very nicely played by Domen. I have to hope for a draw now. Only chance is to run to the king immediately. But perhaps that's not a real chance. Let's see. If I get to king, I have some chances to defend. That means if I get to king without losing my second piece immediately. Mm. Okay, I have to go. Perhaps he saw some forcing. Perhaps not. Okay, if I go there, he gives back the piece. Yeah, but I don't have a choice. Mm, and white is just in time. And if I go here, he takes long. If I just wait, he also goes there. So this is really nicely played by my opponent. He pushed me when I had uh, time trouble. Nice. Uh, this move 33 20, 13 19, of course, would, was a bit too much, perhaps. But anyway, this exchange forward is, is good idea. And my problem was that this wing was still a bit weak. Every time I try to approach here, he can just break through. So, perhaps 21-26 also was a bad move. Because if I play 13-19 here, then after this forward exchange, I can just uh, exchange forward myself. Seeing some people on the Twitch say hi. Cesar one olb hello. It's great to see how think one GME before move one piece to the table. Don't know exactly what you mean, but thank you. Mitrion, Yoman, hi. Finkeltje, hi. I'm trying out Twitch indeed. Uh, doesn't go any better than YouTube, drafts wise. Got a good beating. But in general, it should uh, should work um, against LMW again, which I played the first game as well, which I gave away the, uh, the piece unwantingly. Interesting opening, actually. Let's see some. How would you call it? Kind of not a fork lock, but uh, in Dutch we say onvoltooid hex setting. In English, how would you make it? The unfinished fork lock, but it sounds a bit uh, derogatory. Can move ahead, but I can easily exchange. Can go to twenty-three. Bronzing fork lock, nice idea. Because David Bronzing was the one. <coughs> to introduce this at a uh, high level some nice games against uh, Shogolev I guess in the 60s mm. let's see
Now there is a drafts club in Hogeveen with the trainer General Palmons who teaches his pupils uh, this opening every now and then so could be one of his most interesting to go into attack now perhaps I should try don't know We'll see what happens. Very short position. My development will just be 40, 44, 40, 34, and 40, 34, 29 first, and then 40, 34. Black can take means some kind of chain lock, but my center is so strong that there are some ways to uh, escape it. For example, 1318, 40, 44. Okay, not yet. Maybe no. At least I can exchange backward everything. Seven eleven, I see. Cannot play here because of 26, 41, 16, 11, 6, 11. Change, change, and black goes to king. Play either 27, 22, or to wait. Interesting idea, 44, 30, 13, 18, I still cannot exchange because of 20, 25. Takes here, takes here, and why does it take two? And then black suddenly takes 25, 30. And as you can see from the arrows, these are very interesting calculations, of course, but uh, yeah, that is what you get in uh, such a position. Caesar one O B asks, "What is the bronze thing? Four clock. Four clock is rather uh, this four pieces. And the bronze storm, bronze thing, four clock would mean to have one without piece on fifteen. In which game has uh, different character because um, it allows allows white to go to twenty three more often than in the four clock." I think that's pretty much it. So I cannot exchange here because of 2025 as I tried to explain. Perhaps this is the time to move towards 22. Must say I'm not really sure of what I'm doing, but for black it's also not easy. If I go here now, 11, 
17 times 17 looks strong to me. Now I'm looking at 36, 31 and 47 to 36 because Black also has to make some waiting moves then. I'm quite curious which ones that will be. Mm, yeah, let's see. Trying to give my opponent a hard time as well. So after this is more uh, standard play. So let's go like this. Perhaps you can move to thirty, but I won't move later. Oh, I should have looked at thirty-four, thirty. By the way, more or less planned that, but I forgot. Might have been a winning move, or at least a good move. Okay, it's in eleven seventeen. That's that is a strong move, I guess, because after forty one forty six, I can. For the six, he can play seventeen twenty two. Mm -mm -mm. But I still have the opportunity to play thirty four thirty here. But what does that give me? Or to wait one move. This three nine, and I also don't know what to do. So let's play close this move, and then here. Actually, the position looks critical. <laughs> I can never play 34-30 anymore because of 17-22. I have to go to 22 on the next move. Perhaps 3-9 is now strong because then he can immediately take back the a chain lock, but I don't have a choice. Mm, after this move, perhaps there is 34-30. Because if he takes this king, I will also go to king. Very interesting position. And otherwise, I have this Janus van der Waal like 23 18 after uh, the world champion of 1 7. Yeah, I guess I have to go. I was from the World World Champion of Pari Maribo, 1982. Hope I'm correct. Did I say Pari I mean, I meant uh, Sao Paulo. Okay, I have to take Ken to 18. Perhaps like this. Now I like my position. I can attack again, but I go 2 for 2 again. Very interesting. Look out for this and this. Okay, not anymore.
position is very unclear of course again this is some kind of move perhaps it's strong mm, I don't think so main problem is I don't have time to think again on the other hand I have uh, Strong position, I believe. Perhaps this and that. Then there should be some combination ideas for me. At least I hope. Oh, there it goes. I thought it didn't work. Because if it goes here, I'll go to king and change my pieces. So that's good. Anyway, a very interesting game. That's how I like them. So let me count the pieces. Three, 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 two, three, 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 one. So it means black has one piece more, but I have a king. So this should be uh, winning, especially since I have this two for. 1000 shot hope and take at least a lot of that's a pity i cannot do it anyway a very nice game by lmw played very interesting opening and very sharp might have been uh, losing for me in this uh, at this moment in this but why oh, like didn't find well perhaps it's okay who knows On the other hand, I was playing with fire. I also didn't uh, understand what's going on. Okay, 47 minutes to go. Let's hope for another 2-3 games. Of course, I don't have a lot of points again. First place, Malaysia, 29. It would be nice to play against him. Don't know if I can. Caesar, I don't know what exactly you're referring to with 712 for back position. Um, I don't think it was possible if I think about what you mean, might mean. Arnie, good luck. Um, right. Arnie sounds like a Dutch player. I think she doesn't like 1015 because according to Bronsting, Bronstring, it's always wrong even when it's the best move. Well, out of kind of aesthetical um, reasons. Yes, I agree. If you play this uh, Bronstring four o'clock, mm, it's not nice to move to uh, to a full four clock especially because when you have these pieces and usually you also have pieces four nine thirteen which means that this four clock is a bit on the heavy side when it comes to extra pieces on this wing and usually not good and oftentimes this four clock transitions into a three piece four clock having three pieces on the main diagonal which is usually very very risky and since i'm playing a bit boring now i might also tell another story about this uh, Evert Pronstring um, of course I, I don't know him personally played Dutch championship in the 60s I guess was a very interesting player a lot of new systems I always like to surround and the most well-known anecdote about him is that when he came home after playing drafts his wife didn't ask uh, 
how did you play? What was the result? She just asked, did you play a nice game? And if he said yes, that was, that was all right. The result didn't matter, as long as he played a nice game. And in such, uh, such, um, yeah, such an idea, then yeah, it makes sense that you play move, play moves because you don't think they are pretty. Like ten fifteen in the Bronstring uh, four clock, as we dubbed it. I think this opening also happened in. Uh, Victoria Matryska, one of the strongest female players, and Guntis Valneris with black in the Turkish Open, which was played just before the Corona crisis. Yeah, black has some. Has a attack and the piece on 24, but then again, extra piece on 15. And white has a very nice position without weaknesses, but yeah, white should know where to go in order to make it uh, to get some counterplay. If I'm just able to build my position in a harmonious way, then my attack will be stronger and stronger. Six eleven or seven eleven. Seven eleven a bit more flexible and six eleven is just more looks nicer. Extra bonus of seven eleven is that I have one more waiting move with two seven. Might be worth it. On the other hand, I like six eleven. And in the spirit of uh, David Bronsing I will just play it. Because I like it. After 40 34, I will perhaps exchange forward. Okay, black and white still attacks. I can go two for two, but yeah, it will just uh, give away my initiative. I think if you're on 27, you should try to stay there. Another exchange, and this should be very nice for me because now white doesn't have any uh, counterplay, it's just a matter of building a strong center. Could try and take this square on 28 right now, or just to wait carefully and change. Oh, I was playing careful, so let's uh, keep it that way. After the game, the previous game, I think it's nice to have a less sharp one. Although it's always good to play some uh, adequate moves, of course, whenever I need. Nice development might be like that. Yeah, that was maybe why I should have played 1923 before. But if he exchanges to the side, then I don't mind anymore. And for yeah, perhaps beginners, always the edge pieces look safe. They cannot be eaten. But then again, from a positional point of view, um, they are weak. These pieces are being uh, controlled by the single piece on 27. And um, yeah, in the end, if you want to have a strong position positionally, um, it's better to play to the center. Central squares are most important and also here yeah basically these squares okay I should make sure that I'm 
I'm not actually losing my outpost here. But for the rest, everything is going well. Mm. Also, these three pieces are not doing work. At some point, I will try to develop like that. Still white is quite flexible. So should play well. But well, of course you, st you should always play well, but uh, because there are many kind of exchanges I still need to take to into account and Yeah, w which where do you want your pieces after that? Because after this exchange, I still would like to develop like this to keep all these pieces. Okay. We will probably um, take back. Not really sure where I want to go to 22, but I think it's not wrong. Our plan would be just to wait. Which also doesn't look wrong. But then I don't want to give up this square just yet. So let's go with the first instinct. And now yes, white can exchange and exchange again, but then I'll be on 24 playing against these two pieces. Hopefully. Question is, do I start like this or do I first go there? Perhaps it's best to first go there. Before things get awkward if he suddenly doesn't exchange this piece. So after this small trap And there we go. Logical move and um, yeah, you may forget your move control and resigns, yes. A better piece more in a better position, so no question there. Caesar now understand why level 1500 loss loses easily against GMI. Don't handle constant opposition. Yes, positional play is the, is the most important and uh, um, yeah, this there's a lot of uh, yeah time needed to study that and. Yes, in the long run, if the game uh, progresses 50, 60 moves, a positional advantage you can uh, build up slowly, but surely, and yeah, this way, push or try to push away your opponent. Albin or Elbean, I don't know, next opponent. Let's see, interesting, 13, 19. 
good luck. Now after this I can exchange. So fourteen twenty is indeed makes sense. And the next move eight thirteen is possible again, so um, yeah, let's play here. Sometimes this if this piece wouldn't be here, twenty five thirty would be a winning idea. Just taking some water. Now after eight fourteen I can attack. Still goes like that. Has to take two. And well some advantage for white because this piece is weak. Edge piece. Also these pieces are still not developed, so um yeah easy play for white just to build the center could have developed that if i like to not this feels natural this is interesting i think it rather helps me because now i can also easily develop this wing Nine fourteen. That looks dangerous. This play comes here. Forty forty four forty three twenty nine. I don't see what I'm forcing exactly. Of course I could wait one move. Nice this looks and looks a nice at the moment. To bring forty six, then I didn't have to use piece forty seven so far. Mm. Yeah, let's just play pretty. What I don't like about it is that he has to take, he doesn't have to think. But uh, hopefully now he's, he has to think a bit. Again, if you're watching, uh, be happy if you leave a message in the chat. I'm reading this on my phone on the second screen. Um, let me know what you think about Twitch. Um, if you like what I'm doing, click on follow. And another one of the... Um, advantages for of twitch over youtube is that the monetizing system is a bit easier as far as i know um if i stream a lot i can become a twitch affiliate as it's called and then people are able to subscribe for my channel for say for example, three euros per month, I don't know. And of course, uh, this would help to develop my stream a little bit more, to get a nicer microphone, to get a nice camera, perhaps to organize some nice uh, events. And on YouTube, I don't know if that's so easy. Mm, again, the question, do we go left or do I go right? I think uh, 
because this uh, fork is rather weak. I should go right. The general rule is if one uh, wing has too many pieces, has a kind of weak construction, play away from it. Play play away from this wing because the, this all these pieces will be. Uh, Bad. Finkelcher says, I like Twitch more than YouTube. Curious to hear your thoughts on that then. Um, for streaming, Twitch is a little bit easier. I'm using OBS as a streaming software and um, I can even um, edit my video details like the title directly from OBS, whereas uh, in YouTube there is kind of an extra platform or um, yeah, an another step in between uh, um, in between making the, the setup for the scene, clicking on start stream and actually streaming live. Whereas on Twitch, when I press start stream, I immediately go live. This is uh, so that's that's very really nice. Okay, exchange to the side. Still, these pieces are not very active. Um, but let's still try to develop nicely. Mm. Okay, but by now these pieces might be the weakest. Which would push me more towards attacking on this side. We'll see. Trying to get my formations ready. And also take special care of this piece on 50, which is much stronger than having a piece on this one on 44. So this is also not a move I think a Grandmaster would, would really play, because the uh, reason for that is that in end games, a uh, piece on 44 against 35 is... Um, um, yeah, not beneficial because of some sticky moves on which black plays 35-40 and then goes to king. Of course, when 49 is gone as well. So the only reason to play this move at the moment would be if to exchange forward uh, on the next turn. Albin taking time. 4-9, alright. Let's play this one first, so I can still change to this plan if I want. Can do it anymore after forty nine forty three. Okay, twenty one twenty six. I think it makes sense to take this wing now, especially because the, all these pieces are gone. It makes it very easy to push on that side. On the other hand... In a way, that also helps black. Because again, I'm changing one piece for him. Doesn't have to think about that. 
And I don't like it when my opponent doesn't have to think about the move. Franklin Filia, thanks for watching. First time that I see this platform. Yeah, I guess to people outside of the gaming world, video gaming world, it's quite new. Everyone knows uh, YouTube, but since Twitch is more dedicated to gaming, um, yeah, I think it makes sense to play drafts here as well. And in the end, um, anyway, the stream uh, will go to YouTube. At least I'm planning to. I think I know how to do that. Yeah, I think it just says that Twitch has more functionalities for streaming um, than YouTube. Yeah, I think so also. I believe there are some uh, interesting don't want to allow this exchange. I think there are some interesting um, trackers, kind of you, which you can. I can go like this, by the way. But maybe helps black. I shouldn't think too lightly about such positions. But anyway, I play this move, so I have to go there. Yeah, let's go. Um, yeah, on Twitch, you can. It's easier, I think, to um, add some things like viewer account in the stream to add even the, the chat in the screen, so people can actually see on screen what they wrote. And yeah, this uh, makes it interesting. Now I have this weak piece, but I hope I'm able to push black from square 24 in all cases. I should be able to. Mm -mm -mm. 49 and this exchange, so better to wait one move. Or even this. No, I like this more to have this formation ready. Okay. 611, I think, good move to activate this piece. But now, just them. It's interesting. I should think about my time. Like always, our plan is just to go to 24. Trying to calculate some variance. Yeah, I think this should be strong. Twenty eight just them to also lock this piece away. And now my piece on 36 should help against some um, yeah, ideas like that. The question is indeed what happens if black manages to make it classics. Can I prevent him from making classics? Mm, doesn't seem like it. Okay, might also get dangerous for me. We'll see. Mm, I don't want to change to the side, but what can I do? Maybe then to push. Maybe like this, 1823, okay, you have to change. And is this getting out of hand or not? I'm not sure. Okay, you have to 
go. 1823, yes, makes sense. Alright. Now to change back. Yeah, this is a good idea. But this also looks good. 914, 36, 41. Ah, of course this. Or what is this actually? Not clear. <laughs> 314. Uh, 1822. Let me take. 1822 and 24-29 is perhaps the best move, but still there is some end game. Okay. Focus. 914. 53. Ta ta. Tuck, tuck. 2029, then perhaps some ideas for end games. Not so clear. 914. Perhaps a good move. Maybe not less than that. Might be okay. Because what other ideas do I have? Just to go here and here with this unclear end game so i hope this one, right yeah of course you can go but then i have at least a good very good end game and now i just go to king all right should be winning change back for security reasons All right, it was quite interesting uh, phase. Um, after the opening, I thought it would be just a slow push. In this game, especially in this phase, um, could have chosen to play full on this wing, exchange like that, but try to fight for the right side. And this, actually, from this point on, I think Black played really well. Yes, good question. What was perhaps it was wise to play this and then to be sooner? Don't know. And yeah, here I didn't really have uh, any control. Perhaps this. Just to note, this pos combination is always possible, but in general, it's always bad. Um, I will pause for a while and. Let me back in one minute. see 15 minutes that's at least uh, I can start one game 18th position I'm on fire again so maybe four more points will bring me into the top 10 who knows relative relative not a high rating 1441 so let's see pay 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 in Dutch have a nice game See if we can get some kind of surrounding. I'm sick of playing uh, in the center. Forty-eight, forty-two. All right. One way to play is like this. Another is to play like that. Let's play that. One more look at it. Chat Franklin Fillion helping me to improve my way I play. <clears throat> That's great to hear. That you can pick up one or two things. 
um, yeah, that's also what I like to do with this stream to explain my game and perhaps help others. Finkel to agrees that the just them of the previous game looked strong. So let's hope at least this uh, this intuition was all right. Yeah, this is some uh, funny opening. White is one more waiting move, and now black is kind of out of waiting moves because after this, uh, white can change, but then black plays this one. Forces white to go here more or less, or here. Usually this is a good exchange for white, but now he remains with this wing, which is a bit full. So it might lead to interesting play. Ian Finkel just says that there are more chat functionalities, channel points, emotes, etc. Subscriptions, including uh, subscriptions via Amazon's Prime. So, yes, indeed, more functionalities when it comes to this, that. But I didn't uh, include them into my... Uh, streaming setup so far uh, I guess I should do that for the next one for example so you can uh, view the chat that's going I see in the on the right side of my screen there is still some room so for example there could be the chat I don't want to allow this two for two so I'll move away piece 19 and on oh, 40 29 sharp move don't see it that often mm, 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 mm. okay I will wait well somehow with this fork lock now why well, doesn't have many pieces in the fork lock but so yeah will be interesting see how this plays out now there are some games turbo dumbies this move franklin fillion says ask all these games are recorded yes if you go to the light drafts website and you try to find this tournament for example um which I will surely take care of this put a link uh, when this goes to YouTube I think this one is possible After this, I have to take into account 27, 22, 37, 31, 21, 26, 29, 23, close. And then, don't see a combination for white, so perhaps it's alright for black. Or is there a direct combination? So this move I should check actually. This one is always followed by the 37, 20, 31 and after 21, 26 always 27, 21. But after 9, 14, 45, 40 is possible. Of course it's also limiting white a lot so perhaps I could, I should play that. Yeah, I guess I should. Yeah, what I was saying, all the games are recorded on lightrust.org. If you, for example, go to my account, you can uh, replay them, all of them. And also this video will go to YouTube. 
is interesting exchange. I think I can play 2126. After which white has to close. But it might be that I don't have sufficient moves after that. Because 1419 is met by 2823. Interesting stuff. Okay, I think I can go like this. He's also playing uh, quickly, relative. Don't know what's up. Interesting. Okay, I will just also wait. Doesn't seem like the best move to me. Now white is very much uh, compromised in his moves because of the holes on 42 and 44. You cannot exchange backwards easily. 36, 41. Mm -hmm. Now also 12, 18. just looks good for me. 4-9. Don't see a combination. Threatening 18-23-11-17. White can go 3-4-3, three three, but after that I will also exchange and have a economical 4 clock. Oh, I shouldn't do that. <laughs> and if 37-31. I can. I also have to build a twelve two seven threatening eighteen twenty three. Yeah, there are just too many holes in in White's position. At least should be. Who knows what happens? Before I was talking about the fact that I'm playing against pretty low rated players. Um, solution in the future for that might be that there be some titled tournaments in, in Lidras, which uh, means that only players who have a title like GMI, MI, MF, MN, National Master are allowed to participate guaranteeing kind of uh, minimal level of the games and yeah that would be really interesting I think now I'm just winning a piece right that would be really interesting um, tournaments to play because uh, part players are high level, I cannot go here because of this. Because yeah, all participants will be high level players. Okay. That's a little bit what I miss in in these kind of tournaments, especially if you don't play from the start. You uh, remain in the tail of the tournament, so to say, and yeah, you might wait to have to wait a long time before you get a strong opponent. 
Anyway, playing is fun and playing some nice games. My opponents play well, I think. This is the nicest way to exchange. So I didn't expect white to blunder in such a way this game. It seems to me that my don't have any shouldn't have any shouldn't have any problems converting this one piece advantage to win still white is a nice position and I have some weak pieces but I think I have pretty good control in this classics mm. So I should stop that here. Yeah, everything is all right. Just advance like this. Can even unlock now. But this is just as simple. As long as there's no combination, I don't see anything deadly. Right. Now just to wait, I believe. Should check for combinations, of course. Don't see them. Still don't see them. Mm, yeah, should be alright. Nice picture. Remco 77NL, 7, 7 1318, which, which move are you referring to? I'm not re really reading the chat all the time, so... Especially if you want to make a uh, comment on the game with a certain move. Might get lost. So... Because the game progresses, so it's always advisable to... Alright, white resigned. Let's see if I can start another game. Would be nice. One minute to go. Should be able. Ah, oh, it says the tournament parents are closed. That's really a pity. Uh, yeah, Renko 77, which move number? Don't really know what it's talking about. Okay, made it to the top 10. Well, that's uh, not too bad. Still, I believe my uh, I lost 37 rating points because uh, yeah, my opponent's rating were rather low. Let's have a look again at the uh, last game. Whoops. Move 37. Ram Connor says. Yeah, this is the analysis environment of lead drafts. Let me see how it looks in your screen. Yeah, you can pretty much see it. Oh, I'm just um, enlarge it a bit. Yeah. Because it's nice to, to show it's one of the um, po extra possibilities of light drafts next to other uh, websites. And as you can already see, here it's possible to make a computer analysis of your game. So all the games that are played you can immediately um, analyze them with the computer and here uh, down um, even a graph is being made to indicate uh, the progress of of the value of the position throughout the game and the computer 
program that is uh, integrated is Scan, Scan 3.1, which is, I believe, the strongest program, at least when it comes to uh, positional feeling. Of course, there are other ones out there, Shender Blin, King's Row, especially King's Row is, is available for free as well. And um, yeah, I think King's Row is very good in the, in the late positions with its eight piece database. Scan doesn't have it as far as I know, but um, I'm always surprised by how strong Scan is in the opening and middle game. And that's something I haven't seen with other computer programs. So it's, I think Scan is a very good tool to analyze your games because it, uh, yeah, can teach you also kind of positional things, game plans. So now the um, computer analysis is finished. It shows that in the the um, opening and middle game it was rather uh, equal then starting from move 23 I gained uh, minus one advantage which means basically one piece advantage and this was the moment indeed that um, so let me go here 27-22 I already thought this move wasn't the best one Scan prefers 49-44, just to wait, because black also has only one waiting move, which looks okay, then there's another just to make, and this one already looks ugly, so indeed, here, mm, let's see, and here 46-41, yeah, was the losing move, I think, because of the small combination. We'll go to Remco's um, idea of on the thirty seventh move eighteen twenty three. Ah, right. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's true. Thirteen eighteen. That's a simple breakthrough combination. But 12.18 was strong as well, I believe. Euroscience, thank you for watching again. Um, Italian players played on the draft last Sunday. Yes, I saw that. I was also invited to play. But the weather outside was so nice here that I decided that uh, it's also good to spend some time outside. Whenever I can, I try to limit it as much as possible, of course of the virus, coronavirus outbreak but um, yeah it doesn't happen very often that in the Netherlands you have get 20 degrees in spring so I spent the afternoon outside um, in the future I'm planning to do streams also in the weekend so it would be uh, Tuesdays evening and once in the weekend and in the weekend it would be perhaps uh, analysis of my games, uh, playing a match against someone, or something else, I don't know, many, many ideas. Okay, we'll go back to the... And... Um, yeah, or perhaps Sunday I can play again in, uh, in the Italian tournament. Another thing I'd like to show from this analysis environment, you can even check move times. So that's also a very interesting uh, way to analyze your time management. It shows you how many seconds you fought for each move. For example, I spent 94.3 seconds on the 15th move. And my opponent spent a long time on the 23rd move. And towards the end, everything went quite quick. Cross table shows our... Uh, scores so far played just one so my score is one zero and fn and pdn files you can download here and uh, these you can uh, these are the standard drafts uh, game files which you can uh, export and then um, use 
in your own favorite trust program. Okay. Dammer uit Kampen asks, jij bent toch een Nederlandse dammer, you are a Dutch player? Ja, dat klopt. I'm Dutch, I'm Dutch. But I'm streaming in English because I'd like to... Uh, um, yeah, make my streams understandable for everyone around the world, as many people as possible. Okay, tournament is finished. MI Malaysia wins. Very funny because he's also the organizer. Anyway, congratulations, Michel. Another question from Finkelje I saw here is that because scan uses heuristic algorithms, I was talking that about that scan is the strongest um, program and it also gives a good positional, has a good positional feeling more or less. And as far as I know, the scan was generated by uh, Fabien Letouzi, a French programmer. And um, yeah, he used a kind of self-learning, machine learning approach for creating this program by um, scanning uh, the, the position of pieces in two by two squares. So in blocks of uh, uh, four, it's kind of scanned the board that's why it's named scan and um yeah try to optimize uh giving uh, optimize the, the, the valuation evaluation for uh these um blocks more or less and whatever the the position then would be so if I can open a game, perhaps I would be able to show you. Mm -mm -mm. Here are my own games. For example, the game against uh, Relatif. Again. So I believe a scan would take either. Yeah, I think perhaps a small piece of the board and give a value for whatever the configuration of pieces uh, is on this board it's on this small uh, part of the board uh, then do it for the next 4x4 four four piece of the board could also be that he, he just goes like first like this I don't know exactly and in that way uh, yeah, he optimizes coefficients um, values evaluation and apparently it's a good way because uh, I really like the program yeah would have to invite perhaps Fabien Letuzzi once to, to talk about it a bit longer I'm quite interested and I also think uh, such a draft program could be improved by working together with uh, strong players to also put a kind of human um, part into this program. But yeah, well, that's an interesting debate always, of course, because if you want to have a computer program, you basically want to. Uh, um, also be developed as a computer program and if you try to steer it as a human it might not be good and there are some uh, interesting philosophical uh, debates you could have whether um, a computer whether computers nowadays are stronger than if they play by themselves then if a strong player is operating the computer because I guess especially the strongest players they would think if I operate this computer if I use its calculation power and my own uh, positional feeling 
I would be stronger than the computer only by itself. But there are already some some uh, programmers who think that um, this is only making the program weaker. So in fact, it's better to let the uh, program play by itself than having these uh, human influences. Um, another interesting theme is uh, battle between humans and computers. The last match we saw I, is, I believe, Maximus against Schwarzman in 2012, if I'm, if I'm correct. And Schwarzman managed to win that match, 7-5 over six games. And it would be very interesting to see um, yeah, another world champion versus computer match. Um, so if Rul Bomsa is listening, if Alexander Georgiev is listening, uh, Schwarzman again perhaps, Tijov, Jan Groenendijk, Martijn van Eisendorn, if anyone feels called to try this, play against uh, Kingstrow or Scan or Schendeblin, would be very interesting. But perhaps no one dares anymore. All these players, they know how strong the programs are, and uh, yeah, it's quite an quite a challenge. Anyway, that's been a long talk about programs. Finkel just says thanks for the explanation. I'm also interested in learning more about how Scan works. I can send you. Uh, some some links with info. I will do that. Do you dare to play against Ken? Of course, I dare. Um, yes, might be interesting. By the way, you can also play against Scan on this website, Lead Drafts. If you go to the main page, you can say here it says play with the machine. And you can choose your time control and level. And this level is quite important because it tells a lot about how strong this AI, here it says, will play. And the, I think a very big challenge is to beat level 8 because I know a lot of grandmasters who try, who have tried a lot, and they hardly succeed, if, if any succeeds. Would be a nice challenge also just for a uh, stream to play against level 8 scan until I beat him. Um, might take hours. So uh, yeah, could be fun. But to play in a match of long games against scan, yeah, I would dare, but yes, at the moment I think there are stronger players than I am, so. Um, yeah, I don't feel like really the, like being the right person to try that. Because ideally, you'd like to to put the strongest human player against the strongest computer. So I'm not going to play with the machine right now. I'm going to slowly uh, finish my stream. I've lot I've played in the. KNDB online club avond, Rapid Arena. Played some nice games, played some well not so nice games perhaps, at least for me. I remember the first game in which I gave away a piece uh for no reason. It was really an excellent. Uh then the game I lost against what's the name? I should have I should have uh, Remembered. Mm. Okay, I can check my games here. Also, to give you a little bit of insight how this website works here in the last games. Yes, I played nine rapid games. I lost 37 rating points as well. Okay. I lost against Damon. Oh yeah, how could I forget? Computer analysis available. Which means someone clicked already on this analysis. So I can go to the analysis board here. 
Yeah, I thought it was a really rather interesting game. Of course, at the end he had was totally winning, which makes this graph a little bit hard to read. But indeed, uh, the end of the middle game I was getting some advantage, as I felt with the biggest advantage around here. Yeah, because I could push somewhere, I believe, to this to this wing. But in the game. Um, I waited I guess too long and white totally stabilized here. And yeah, here it was rather me who had to defend. But yeah, white forced me into a very yeah um interesting position with in which I suddenly had only a few possible moves. This was always met by thirty eight forty two. So I played 15-20, and now this was meant by this, this is what I played actually, and this was also still meant by this. Apparently 17-21 is the computer preferred move with the ID to, after this, to play just 27-22, because why does it take three pieces? All right. Yeah, but here you can also still see the time we had. I had only 11 seconds, and that was what killed me. So, yeah, but this I already knew. Better to do less talking and more thinking. Or quicker playing. Jalo Verde, stream it. He was looking, he was looking on um, Twitch. Yes, yes, yes. Didn't you see the banner in the... Only drafts. You cannot see it here. I can maybe move it a bit for you. Here there will be oops. Look, here is a banner. If you click the banner you will get to my uh, streaming page. Twitch and on on light drafts and I can actually click and this will show you Twitch. Would be actually interesting to see what's here now. Probably I see myself. Indeed, playing checkers for twenty viewers. All right, twenty viewers. That's good. Thank you all for watching. I guess I will uh, um, quit slowly. We're getting a nice um, Doppler kind of effect. How is it called again? Nice to watch. Playing checkers for 22 viewers. Right. Anyway, I will close the stream. Um, these are nice images to end with. Um, thank you all for watching. If you like this, follow me on the uh, Dost effect. Yes, that's the, that's the thing, of course. Doppler is uh, sound. Dost is images. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is too addicting to look at. Let's uh, let's go back and quit. What did I want to say? Uh, I will try to upload this stream to YouTube as well. We'll see how it goes, and then I'll say see you on Saturday or Sunday. Uh, we'll let it know on the various channels, and yeah, it will also be visible on Lightrofts with this banner. Alright, hope you enjoyed, I definitely enjoyed, and hope to see you again soon. Alright, bye bye.